Okay, guys, let's play Serious Sam First Encounter HD Part Quattro. Oh, and the, this is, yeah, it's called the Juvenile, so basically everything else but like slightly less hostile. And uh, we got the Biomechanoid Miner, which is the blue thing that shoots lasers. Biological mechanism grown in Mentals Biotanks. Its genome is programmed to give it biologically grown mechanical parts and side slots. Slots? Where pulse layers are attached and directly connected to its nervous system. Adjusted attack without thinking. Tips. Quick and dangerous. Eliminate quickly. Make sure you evade the streams of energy from its lasers. Are very, very dangerous. Everything else is dangerous. Once again, 15 feet freaking tall. Ugh. And, uh, got a harpy. And that's good. And now we have the Valley of the Kings. This is where the first secret level is located at the very end. And we'll go to a level that is dramatically different in terms of environment than the last. So, uh, I'll just put, I'll just give it a super save. There's my bladdy. That's the super save. It's at the start of each level. And I got my quick save. Ha, 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 here we go. Ha! What's up, guys? How you guys doing? My name is Bladdy. I'm gonna knife you in the eyeball. See, there's no sense in, uh, just, I'll just play a little uh, Nintendo with this shit. Okay, getting a little close, getting a little close for comfort now. Getting a little close for comfort, getting a little close for comfort. Get out of my, get out of my, get out of my domain, bro, Tato. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Pretty good, yourself? Awesome. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm tired of your face. I'm tired of your mouth. I'm tired of everything, man. So one of the hardest things that I uh, was trying to learn and actually never really did is have a smooth terrain texture um, for this game in terms of level editing. And keep in mind that this game uh, is... I'm talking about an editor that was like when I was 13 and right now I'm 22. So it's, yeah, a little, a little, bit, a little bit ago. Apparently, you were, you could use something called I forgot what it was called, but the way that they use terrain is uh, black and white imagery, and then they use a uh, top map of it. And so the whites are really high, grays are like sloping down, and then like uh, pure black is like level ground. And then it pretty much you would you would with spray paint type of spray paint program, even in MS Paint. You would make this white and black thing, and that would actually transmute into a uh, or transmogrify into uh, a terrain such as what you see here, like all these bumpy, smooth hills. But I could never get that working. I bet I could now if I really wanted to. Unfortunately, when I tried to open the editor from this game, it freezes. Now, there might be a fix for that. I only tried one time, but uh, eh. I'm kind of down for making my Super Mario things, because I can actually get that to work, and, and I can actually make some pretty creative stuff with that. I really should get back into that, so who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Shit, I don't think... There we go. There you are. They have to make, they have to make eyesight with you. And yeah, I've played this enough, so I'd say I'm, I'm an experienced serious Samurai enough to know pretty much the amount of rockets needed to kill an enemy. For instance, these lasers die in one hit with uh, a rocket. If you see it hit him... Dead. But we're not going to worry about that because rockets are a little inaccurate when they're this far away. So we're going to use some of my Tommy gun to make sure these guys get wiped out. Their lasers kind of hurt really bad. It's like a big constant stream of energy, so it's not fun. Actually, Miles can serve a little ammo because the Tommy gun is freaking priceless long range. It's basically like an automated pistol in terms of uh, damage and goodness. So uh, I'll wait. And that thing is not good. It's a quick save because this, this is crap. That is what we want to kill first. Fucking homing, green, pulsing repto rep reptoid character called a Highlander. A reptoid Highlander. And there's actually another form of that, which will uh, <clears throat> account her pretty damn soon, actually. These missiles will hurt extremely bad. As bad as you think a missile would hurt falling on your face. Which is, uh, for the most part, lethal for people that are not for mortals. And, but uh, Sirius Sam is half immortal, so... That's all good. Little marsh hoppers going on here. It's okay. You can kind of see him from the very far, very far distance. Oh my gosh. So if I play this on easy mode, for instance, you might not see these marsh hoppers, or if you did, there'd be a lot less of them. So I really like that that higher difficulty not only just makes it harder for you in terms of like uh, stats-wise, but also 
enemy placement and enemy spawns. I like when games do that. When that, that's when it's actually worth it to make play in their difficulty, or like you know, like give you more objectives or what have you. Okay, not too bad, not too shabby. This is the Valley of the Kings. It's a uh, pretty depressing skyline. I have to do say so myself. Quite depressing, actually. But that's what you get. That's what you get. So let's see. I am really digging another save right here for just uh, unknown reasons. Totally just random save there. Totally not expecting anything to happen or anything. So uh, yeah, <laughs> never said this was blind, but I'll tell you what, it is blind in terms that I never played this shit on serious. Oh, I hear, I hear, I hear a thingy. I hear a, I hear a. Oh, fucking hit me through. Like they throw like ball and chains. Like what a random projectile to throw. And boy, that would hurt if it hit you, man. Remember Braveheart when he swipes that guy with a freaking ball and chain? That, that's gotta hurt. Seriously, it's gotta hurt bad. All right. No. No. Yeah. Luckily, Serious Sam has like amazing aim at any distance. <laughs> Like pinpoint accuracy. There's no recoil. There's no cover. There's a ducking mechanism, but it doesn't make your aiming better. Oh yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Sorry, no, it doesn't. It just makes your crosshair. It made my crosshair bigger because I was looking close to the ground. Okay, cool. I was mistaken. I apologize. Now, now I'm gonna give it a quick save. Hello, Highlander. How are you doing? Reptiloid. Freaking guy. Freaking ball, man. There we go. Okay, so we get a rocket launcher for no apparent reason. No. Boss fight! Serious firepower. Okay, yeah, that's the boss fight. <laughs> Pretty random. You would not. Yeah, this is getting serious, serious sandstone. You're damn right, it's getting serious. There's a lot of fucking clears going my, coming my way. There's a lot of fucking clears coming my way. A lot of fucking clears coming my way. Actually, there's only two. Oh, well, cool. Those things make a sound. Those ball and chains. I never really noticed that. Neat doll. Okay, so to get to the secret level, you have to destroy those statues. There's about mm, four or five of them. Now, that's a quick save. We finally made it into the Chamber of Horus. Well, we're in the anti-chamber, I guess. In little little uh, sidestep puzzles, if you want to call it that. Basically, it's an excuse to kind of like search around the room here. All right. Pretty looking water, though. Don't want to go down there, though. There's electric fish that will literally electrocute you in the water, and that's never good. Sorry, you've been you've been disqualified. Yes, yeah, slip down there, ragdoll in there. That's cool when they ragdoll in there. I like that. I like that. It's cool. It's cool, Shenan. Go, oh! 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 buddy. You almost got me. You almost got me, but not quite. Oh my God! Why is there so much shit coming everywhere? Stop it! Ouchies! Oh God, no! Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, butter. Noodles! Noodles! No! Okay. Holy butt, man. That's nuts. Yikes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is actually completely 100% blind in terms of playing on serious difficulty. So, excuse me if I get surprised when you see, when I see all sorts of bullshit happening my way. Whoa, buddy! Calm down, blue ball. See, that's see how crazy they try to see. Look, they don't run into walls. You gotta shoot them. Oh yeah, I pistoled your face. What about it? Fuck you, blue, purple, green, Highlander ball. All right, so that boss that we fought, Aldrian Reptiloid Highlander. That's the Highlander. I call them all Highlanders, but that's the Highlander. Cold-blooded reptile-like, primitive race, 45 freaking feet tall, weapon, magic homing missiles. You remember the magic missiles in Baldur's Gate? Well, holy shit. 
Threat high. A four, a large four-handed reptile living at Aldurian system in the constellation of Canis Major. This primitive race has agreed to fight for Mento in exchange for spell casting powers. Well, holy shit. The creature casts self-propelled fireballs with primitive homing abilities. The Highlander race is significantly larger and more dangerous than the ordinary ones living in the plains. When furious, they cast their missiles in very quick succession. Tips. Avoid their indestructible missiles and don't get close to them. You can't destroy the orange mm -hmm. missile, which is insane. And there's the major one. Horribly, horribly dangerous. They have rocket launchers instead of laser cannons. And there's the baby common. They're called common. I guess they're called reptiloids, but I call them all Highlanders. And then they've got this cool name, Marsh Hopper from Rigel Cantaris. I think that's kind of neat. It's like they actually have their own little backstory, like little like you, you, you can. Oh, whoa, 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 ass boy! Freaking! I gotta get used to that. They like they like to flank me with this freaking clears, freaking clear dicks. Now this is probably gonna be insane. Part two. Get that armor, get that armor. Okay, shoot him. Oh boy. Okay, good, the missile's dead. Oh my god, oh my Jesus Christ! holy shit. What in the fuck? Okay, hold on, just calm down. Calm down, just hold your breath. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Bye-bye. Ah, the pleasant sound of a arachnid dying. Mmm, tastes like dinner, man. Tastes like dinner. Open that switch with the right button mouse to use. I hate when games don't keybind the right, like, they, they, they would, it would just, it would just say key unbound to use and it doesn't like it doesn't actually detect that you changed it to something else there are rockets down there though oh man uh, all right get this rocket quick go back up 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 get out of here get out of here get out of here i'm good i'm good i don't care about secrets i'm good that's all i wanted to do to grab the rockets thank you very much i appreciate it wholeheartedly what we got in here? Hello! You're cute and bitchin'. That was real cute, little bitchers. Fucking stacker whackers. Freaking mixed stackers, man. Be like Burger King and McDonald's had a fetus child. And it'd be mixed stackers. Freaking clank flucker bitches. They kind of remind me of the fiend from uh, Quake. The ones that would jump and they're like. <sighs> And if you died, it'd be like you got eviscerated. It looks like they would eviscerate you if they hit you and you died from them. In my gentle opinion. Very gentle opinion. Oh, well, Flinky McDickwads. Look at these little buttercups. Little peanut gallery. Hey! Asswipe! What an ass. What an asshole spawn. Oh, the male ones are faster, though. That's something I kind of forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta jump those guys. You can't just straight them. So I really love the, uh, I love the uh, amount of like adapt adaptation you have to put in this game. Like you think this game's just all like mindless shooting? You are far, far from the truth. And I hope this let's play is showing that. That's one thing I want to show is that Serious Sam is indeed a serious game because you have to be serious in order to actually play this game on hard difficulty. You can't just run and shoot and strafe. You gotta know what weapon. The big thing is knowing what weapons you have to use. And I smell an ambush in here. Oh my god. Okay, Bombardier, you're dead. And Gnar, you're dead. Clears everywhere. Clears everywhere. Holy shit. What? I don't got any Tommy gun boot. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Shit. Fuck, am I supposed to do this? How the fuck am I supposed to do this? Okay. Wish I had a Tommy gun right now. Is there any hit points in the uh, in in the yard? Any hit points at all? Oh God! <laughs> I'm gonna start dying. This is the level. They got fucking ambushing freaking stair closet freaking underneath the stair clears, man. Whoa, hello! Underneath the stair clears, man. Just oh shit! Oh my god. Holy shit, you hear the sounds? That's a lot of clears. Before I forget. Oh my god! One more hit and I'm dead, dude! Oh, only one hit point. 
Uh, oh yeah. Ah. Ah. Uh, ooh, I needed that. Okay. Where? Where? Hey! I need to, I need to get hit points up. Not down. Okay, that's quick saving. Quick saving goes more rapid when I'm close to death. <laughs> Don't even care, man. Okay, I can imagine bullshit happening here. I can imagine bullshit happening here. Yep. 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 Thanks a lot, asswipe. Oh, how the fuck am I gonna survive this shit? <laughs> come here. No, come here. Holy shit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> fuck. Well, there we go. Oh god, yeah, this is looking good already. Looking good already. You are a flick. So that's why you don't grab fucking innocent 